a, a month ago. Apologies because of FGCon, because I've got in the way. Um, but um, you were at the estate of Sir William Banks, the Kingston Lacey estate, and you were there to um, woo him and to see whether he would be a, 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 a someone who could act as a patron to the, to the Rippers organisation and provide um, you know funding and uh, support through so quite an influ influential guy. And, and that seems to be uh, going well. However, during the on the Saturday of the the stay, there was a disturbance, and you discovered that uh, the Maxwell Pudgett, a police inspector, a local police inspector, was found mur murdered. His head had been dashed with a blunt object, and he was in Enrico Gambaccini's room. You stopped Enrico Gambaccini, who was running off, somewhat angry and irate. Um, and uh, you've uh, you beat him up and um, <laughs> questioned him in a, in, a, in your room and, and beat him up some more and beat him up some more poked him yeah and um, so you were trying to find out who uh, committed the crime you discovered that the murder actually occurred in the bathroom oh hold on let me share the maps and things So you discovered that the murder happened in the bathroom upstairs. There was blood spatter on the ceiling. You discovered that there was a missing item from a table in the hallway outside. There was a, a clean patch where something had been moved from the dust. And um, you, so you think maybe it, there was like a pair of statues there. You think maybe one of these statues was used to, uh, to kill poor... Um, Maxwell however you haven't located the the murder item yet you were invested you've also discovered that there was blood on the dumb waiter and the on the chains in the dumb waiter you discovered um, uh, the body of Maxwell was found in Enrico's room you found some shoes thrown outside the uh, outside of his room and you were in the process of questioning everybody you'd searched everybody's uh, hands uh, looking to see if you can find anybody with blood on their hands you didn't find anyone with blood on the hands but you did find that um, Jellico um, Jonathan Jellico the uh, politician who was here he'd actually got some cuts fresh cuts on his hand which he claimed was from falling over in the garden and uh, cutting himself on the gravel. You um, also were going through uh, talking to people and um, you summoned the servants uh, to the area, one of which was uh, known to you, uh, the chef and uh, everything. However, while Sir William Banks himself was getting summoning the servants, there was a loud crash and um, you found out that he was being attacked and you rushed over to um, assist him and it appears like there was a kidnap attempt in progress of Sir William Banks. He was being dragged through a window and a fight ensued. You um, managed to kill some thugs however there is a um, an Arabic looking gentleman um, wearing uh, dark robes and um, uttering satanic verses um, <laughs> and generally casting uh, spells at you. He was trying to uh, um, wrestle off Sir William Banks and I think that was kind of where we left it unless anyone uh, wants to add anything I've missed No, I think uh, that's everything Excellent So, um, you found yourself in, in fighting with uh, this uh, this gentleman there is an area of darkness which he has um, summoned into the area which is the red circle on the map you are all closing in on him those inside that uh, darkness um, circle are all at minus six and i believe we were just at the start of a new round so we might as well take it straight from there You know Banks is also in the darkness with you well you can see him actually he's, he's screaming on the map but also there's this uh, wizard guy sorcerer yeah and I, I remember now I, I was trying to run north of the 
through the darkness to the north of it and hit something there. Hmm. Okay, so round one, and this is uh, bad for you because the um, sorcerer has gone and pulled a joker for himself, Ooh, which means I can do all sorts of nasty things. Um, all right, so you hear uh, incantation coming from just from the north of where Carl is. He only just passes. After the incantation, you hear a snarl. Another one of those Nazgul things? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not one of the Nazgul things. And can I roll anything to try and figure out what that snarl is? Uh, yeah, you can do that on your on your go. Um, if we wait till your go, and then we can have a go at that. Um, so he um, he cast that spell, and um, oh damn it, I'm going to have to Benny that actually with him because I meant to multiple. Oh no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Okay, and. There's a snarl and you feel something start to bite and claw at you, um, Carl. Ah, help! And it misses, I'm not standing for that. Um, it sounds like a dog. Back of that with a wild attack. That's better. <laughs> Not saying the GM hasn't got it in for you or anything. Okay, ouch. Uh, that's two wounds coming in. Would you like to uh, soak slash dodge? Nice. Um, yes, I would. So I need to roll agility? Um, yeah, well, you can use your soak button as normal on your character. I've um, set up an extension that just does it automatically. There you go. So that's um, one wound is going to be soaked. Uh, you could try again or... I uh, think I'll do it again. Yeah, you need, you'll need an eight to, to soak them both. Still one, okay. sadly. One is, uh, one is good. Okay, you feel a sharp pain then as this creature sinks its uh, teeth fangs into your leg. Short, uh, it's all right. Uh, uh, right. I probably don't know if there's anything around me. Is that all a listener or something? Not this, I suppose. Um, yes, yeah, so you can do a notice, you can do that for free if you like. Uh, because if I try to just run and hit something, what, what will happen then? Well, if you run and hit something, um, I'm just going to say that you sort of automatically are aware which square it's in. Um, you can try and do a notice check if you want, and I'll uh, I'll reveal the squares there in if you if you pass. Well, I'll reveal one thing for each success. So, yeah, if you want to do a notice, I can do it for free. All right. Uh, so that's going to be three actions this turn then. Oh, the, the notice, uh, I'll say, is a free action, so um, you won't incur any penalties right. between the notice. Nice. Okay, so um, which one do you want to pinpoint, the dog or the sorcerer? If there's anything uh, in my way out of the circle, uh, so that uh, means north, north, uh, 
northeast, north, north and northeast, if there's anything there. Um, okay, you uh, then reveal. Oh, I've revealed them both. Damn it. Oh, I can't. might as well leave them now. <laughs> <laughs> They're both there. I meant to only reveal the sorcerer, but you got them both. <laughs> That's where they are. You still have a minus to uh, hit them, but um, you know which square they're in, basically. It's still a minus six, sadly. Pitch dart. Uh, right, uh, what minute? Also, other actions. Uh, oh, oh, this has been just a month since you played. Uh, okay, so uh, notice was free and move was... It was uh, free. So that was a so there was no negatives on the unless I wanted to do more than attack, I suppose. Correct, yeah. I'm gonna move up here and uh, uh, then I'm probably gonna shoot at uh, Hakim if there's nothing else to shoot at outside from the outside. Move up to that. Uh, I can't see, uh, I still can't see them from the outside of the dark. No, I can't. No, probably not. Uh, the rule to f shoot someone in the darkness there, what's that? Um, shooting into the darkness, you can't actually see them. You just sort of aim in the general area. So sadly, it's minus six. It's really difficult. You just kind of, you know, you know the rough area they're in. So you're firing blind, really, still. I can shoot blind. Oh, it might be uh, worth me mentioning, by the way, if you do lay any damage onto him, it uh, can disrupt his spells, so he, he has to make a check to maintain that darkness. Uh, Carl uh, charges up his uh, bolt caster to... Well, full. That's going to cost. Uh, that does more damage, but costs two points instead. Um, sadly, that'll be a miss on a. Wow, you're it. really high. Yeah, it's because that nasty modifier. Yeah, I'm not shaking. Okay, well, Alphonse doesn't know that the Shadow Hound is there. I mean, as far as I know, it could be just a regular dog. So I can't activate Righteous Fury, right? Um, I don't know. But I mean, it's likely that you know that he might have been um, summoned. Um, it might be a summoned creature. Um, so you can make like, a knowledge of cult role if you want for that. Un <laughs> untrained it is. <laughs> Good luck. Oddly, yeah, it sounds like um, <laughs> he's must have summoned something. You can just tell by the yeah, you know, swirling energy and the like, and the way this creature just appeared to uh, appear next to you. And you do know where it is because it's kind of been uh, biting your leg. This That's... dog smells funny. Put this at minus I'll four, actually, I'm being take. harsh with a minus six, so I have a minus four. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, so Righteous Fury is activated, like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. My eyes start burning with cold hatred for him using such an unnatural beastie. So I get plus one strength. And plus one for each wound level, so plus two. 
and I'm going to well, I'm going to go into wild attack to so just max out every single thing I can do. Awesome. Ow. Splat? <laughs> Not so fast. Yeah, Peter you can tries try to, to dodge. He does just about dodge, but that's got rid of his last Benny. Okay, now for my second attack. Which is yes. plus two for wild attack and plus two for the wound and the holy rage. You're on fire. I am? Well, I no, stop no, drop and roll. <laughs> yeah, on on fire in a good way. <laughs> Uh, and I swish through the shadow puppy. A grief. Um, right. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like GM thing. You are now on fire. No, you're not on fire. Um, not literally. I'm gonna have to spend a, a GM Benny against this. I'm not having that four wounds. What am I supposed to do against that? Play fair. Oh, that's better. I've soaked. Um, soaked three wounds. Yeah, okay. three of them. So he's taken one wound. You'll hear a yelp as your um, weapon cuts into him. Well done. And that would be my turn. Uh, here, here, over here, Sir Henry! Okay, if you, uh, you'll, as you reach around the corner there, you'll uh, grab onto a, it feels like an arm, and then you'll feel a hand sort of uh, grab onto your arm as well. Sir Henry, help! The fiends! <laughs> Don't fall for it, Henry, it might be a trick! <laughs> well, with Sir Henry's talking to him as well, it's kind of reassures him. He holds on to um, to you, Sir Henry. <laughs> 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 oh, that's made me laugh. I'm going to give you a penny for that, Sir Henry. How hairy is the arm? <laughs> Wonderful image you've been growing on, so that's really big hairy arm. All right, okay. So, um, yeah, you can drag him back. He's willing to be dragged back, so you can just kind of move him. I'll move him into the room. Just kind of pull him through the window back into the lounge, if you wish. I'll say that's your action, so you can still move if you wanted to move. 
Yeah, or you could um, do another action and it'd be at minus two. So you can still move and have an action at minus two if you wish. Okay, Banks will get behind you, um, as you, uh, as you say. And next turn, Alphonse, you're up first. Okay, um, I'll swing in the same direction I swing, swung, swung, swung the last time at the Shadow Hound. Cool. Oh, you still have a darkness penalty of minus four um, to this, but uh, oh, you'll need to put wild uh, uh, attack back on yourself if you need. Oh, it went away? Yeah, it was only set for one turn. I can put it back on you. Cool. Okay, so in the end it's plus two, because it's plus two for the wound and the rage, minus two for the double action. And plus two for the rage, the wild attack. Good luck. <laughs> I <laughs> think I hit it, guys. You really are on fire now. That's just GM. <laughs> Making me sad. You burst into flame. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Good luck with the damage. Well done. Four wounds on him again. <sighs> I'll use another one of my bennies, see if I can keep him alive. Can't. I'm not spending any more bennies on him. I've only got two more, uh, one more GM Benny left. So there's a yelp, and uh, you'll hear something squish and collapse to the floor in front of you, breathing uh, heavily as it uh, dies. You can step forward and I still have your other attack if you want. Yeah, but I have no idea where the guy is, so I'll just hug the wall and like walk two paces to the uh, where I think the window is. All right. You'll be able to feel your way along, and we'll find the window. You'll be able to hear the sound of Banks and Sir Henry um, off to the south. I scream the blasphemy has been cleansed from this world. And that's it, I move my turn. Banks continues to uh, hide and be defensive. Carl, you're up. Uh, Alright, uh... We, uh, we, we do, can, can we know if they are, uh, the character is a wild card? He probably is, but... Uh... He is, yeah, I'll tell you that now. Um, usually they have a symbol on them on the combat tracker. Um, not sure which one it is. Rippers. Yeah, All right. if, if you've got that little skull on the combat tracker, um, that means the wild cards. I'm going to use my payback card. Awesome. Ooh. There we go. Well done. For the rest of the scene, that's brilliant. Okay, so... Um, and I charge up my bolt caster again to its full. 
Okay. Is your um, if you've been there for that, I put the the minus at minus four this time. So if you want to just do it in minus two because you've got the plus two to hit from the payback, it should be easier to hit him this time. Uh, so I should I I should add minus two. Yeah, just minus two in total this time for the darkness. That's a hit. Nice. And you got plus two on this roll. Oh. However, um, it does um, does cause some damage, which means that. But it was a bit of a low roll, really. But um, it does cause him damage, which means that he needs to make a spell casting roll, and he needs to get nine or more, or the darkness drops. He doesn't. Booyah. Okay, as you hit him, you shake him. That's enough to uh, put him off maintaining that spell. And it is dark outside, but it's not the utter supernatural darkness that you had before. And you'll be able to see the um, the bad guy up against the wall there. And there's a, a dead shadow hound, a, a black furry beast uh, next to him at his feet. Do you wish to do anything else? I'm going to move a bit away from him, I suppose. Good idea. Yep, the darkness has lifted from around you, Sir Henry. You just have to switch the the eye patch to the other eye to your good eye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, for some reason I've got. I'm not sure why I put that on. Locked tokens. Oh, it's going into you a lot today. Okay, he's going to try and dodge that. Uh, it's a bit of a dodge. Okay, your uh, bullet will um, shoot into his um, side. You'll see him stagger back against the wall and blood sort of pouring out of his abdomen. Well done. You'll never take me alive, Rippers. If you don't, if you want to end your turn. Taking you dead is fine with me. Okay, he recovers from stun, which is useful. Um, let's see, what nasty things can I try to do to you? Right, he's going to, um, he, <laughs> really is a foot, he begins um, chanting again. 
It's a horrible, evil, arcane tongue that he uses. And uh, around you, a, a darkness um, seems to uh, seep up um, from the ground and it begins uh, clinging around... Well, it's just Sir Henry and Alphonse, um, and the, the darkness, the dark tendrils start to uh, press up, going into your nose, into your mouth, and into your ears, uh, trying to um, suffocate you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to try again. One second. This is my last Benny. Come on! <sighs> he fails, fails to do it. And he can't move uh, because he'll provoke, because you've got him trapped against the wall. And Alphonse, you get a Joker. Shall we kill him, guys? Or do you want to question him? I guess someone wants to poke him. Well, Alphonse is out of his anger stupor thing because the poor guy isn't supernatural. So he'll just stand over him. Uh, is the wild attack really supposed to be just one round and end? Is it a thing? Um, technically, yeah. Um, I mean, you, you can set the duration for longer if you wish. Um, I can put it on you to be on permanent no, until you say take it off. But It's okay, I just don't want to be the guy that re gets it removed when it's not needed anymore because I, I really don't think it's necessary anymore. Yeah, uh, basically on your turn you can remove it. It just gives you the minus two to parry until whenever your next turn is. So sometimes when the initiative goes, you can um, get away with it. If you went last, for example, and then first the next round, you actually uh, can recover pretty quick. Okay, so I'm just going to do two actions in case I miss. And non-lethal. Okay, so it's minus two. And it'll put a plus two on automatic for the Joker. Yeah, it's minus three because minus two for the offend and minus one for the non lethal. Got you. I hit. Hurrah. Ah, wait, maybe the one minus one was the non lethal, it's for the damage roll or for the two hit roll? Um, to hit. Not the damage, the damage goes on normally. Ah, okay. It just doesn't kill him if you the incapacitation. So Mr. Hakim tries to dodge? Um, no, no he, he doesn't in this instance. Sorry, I was. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it was my mistake. I spent okay. a penny early to re-roll, but never took the penny off him. Okay, so I'm going to roll damage. Okay, Good now shape. for my second hit. And that's my turn.
it's a uh, it's a miss when you're standing next to him because he's um, you target the parry. If you wanted to, you could step back one and take the shot. Um, in which case, it'd be a hit. You can do that if you want. Oh, uh, maybe you can uh, melee attack him because you'll have gang up plus one. Yeah. Okay, that's going to give you a plus two. Um, okay, I'll just take a plus two so it's a hit. Okay, roll your damage. Nothing I can do, he's down to minus three. He's, he's still standing? He's still standing, just, yeah. Oh, god damn it, that, that is... Oh. Why are they going to shoot him in the leg with electricity bullets, I suppose? How is that going to work for non little? Yeah, shoot him in the leg with it. Or if you just put minus one on it, it'll, it'll do it. <laughs> non lethal face shot, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Give a hit. And add plus two to that, by the way, I forgot to add those. That's fine, because all the incapacitation does is it just means he, he gets knocked out instead of uh, fully killed when he do not Alphonse so. steps away before the guy pees himself from being tasered. <laughs> all right. So, oh, like, well, if, if his heart stops, I do have electricity there to taste him once, one time more. There's an arc of uh, lightning, and as Hakeem falls to the ground, the silence around you is shattered by a huge um, explosion coming off from the, to the south of the estate. Turning around you can see a plume of black smoke rising in the air. It appears to be coming from the hedge maze uh, to the south of the mansion. Very well, I shall uh, st stick close to you. I guess they figured if nobody could have that as uh, obelisk, uh, well, nobody should have it, I guess. You aren't far wrong there. The cloud of smoke uh, appears to be rising from the centre of the hedge maze. You can no longer see the obelisk um, standing out above the hedge maze there. All right, let's run over and see what's happening then. Uh, well, I, uh, tie I up there. I think I'll stay with Mr. Banks. Yeah, and you should probably should tie up that uh, uh, Satan sat 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 tennis dude. Or bring him with us. I can totally see us, Alphonse, just dragging him by the uh, rope. <laughs> Uh, 
like two ties, one on each leg, and then he just pulls him. So it's his his face is like grinding on the street. Sorry, one second, just set something up. Right, so as you um, head down towards the hedgeways, um, you can hear sounds um, from inside. Um, it sounds like uh, men um, uh, chanting um, in there, some sort of arcane ritual. Mr. Banks, are you a Satanist? <laughs> quite, quite the off opposite, I assure you. I, I just collect antiques. I, I don't know what these people are, are doing on my estate. I'm so lucky you're here, Rippers. What is that obelisk? It is... Uh, it came from a burial site in uh, Egypt. Um, I had it brought here a number of years ago now. Um, it's... Uh, it has um, symbols to a, a variety of gods uh, on there, uh, sort of paying homage and uh, ushering people into the afterlife. It's just a religious symbol. Yeah, that's what they usually go for. Okay, there's only actually one way out of the maze, isn't there? So, um, as you, as you uh, sort of get closer, you'll um, hear sounds coming towards you, footsteps and um, shouts. Sounds like some people are trying to get out of the maze. Alphonse is vengeful and he's thinking about setting the maze on fire. You know, smoke them out. Might just send it them chanting faster. So, shall we wait for them or shall. Oh, okay, here they are. Oh, they're, they're the f they're friends and everyone. It's really Go for the legs, Mr. Banks. Um, okay, uh, because it's a hedge maze, we don't know the guys in the, to the south of us are there, right? True, you can hear sounds, um, because they're making quite a lot of noise as they're sort of fleeing. Um, you can perhaps see the first one. Just a bit of the uh, first thug, the one Yeah, on the but I, I can't, like, stick my sword into the hedge and hope to hear a squeak on the other side. You could, but I'll say I'll give you a minus four um, to do that because it'll be a pretty good shot. Okay, I think Alphonse, what he'll choose to do is stand and block the exit. I'll go uh, full defense. I don't seem to be able to push the effect on myself. All right. Uh, well, you've got two um, different types of defense. There's one where you can roll a fighting roll, and um, that becomes your parry. A fighting roll plus two, and you get that for your, as your parry for the turn. Or alternatively, you can just have a flat plus two to your existing parry. I think I'll use my fighting, if that's an option. Okay, it tends to be better for people who've got lower parries, um, but if you, if you roll the fighting roll, plus two, and that'll become your parry for the turn. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm all in. Wow, okay, you've now got a parry of 13, that's fantastic. So your parry's 8 currently, so you get plus 5 to your parry. Okay, I've put that effect on you. That's all I can do, right? Yeah, pretty much, I guess. Okay, so this thug. Yeah, I guess he kind of squeezes around there. I'll give him a minus because he's squeezing. They're armed with their cudgels. I'm going to wild attack with him. <sighs> nope. I'm going to have to pull back to that. He shouldn't have the ganging, ganging up either. Ah, noted. I mean, it's minus one to gang up, so they need to be three. Guys, I'll hold them. You set the garden on fire. We'll have some smoke Satanist for lunch or dinner, depending on the hour. Oh, did he actually hit? He did. Just. Yeah. You're lucky. Uh, that's a shaking on you. Right, you can spend a Benny if you wish um, to get rid of that shaking. Uh, sure. Or, or you can leave it on, it's up to you. Um, okay, well, it, it'll automatically go, so. I kill the thugs game. This guy's a bit of a jam here. He's he's gonna uh, pull out his pistol. She has to draw. Take shot at you, misses completely. This guy'll do the same thing. This guy's shooting with pistols, completely messing, shooting at you though. Okay, you'll go, folks. I'm guessing I really don't have time to find gasoline and matches in this fight. <laughs> so, let's shoot one of the thugs, I suppose. If I, can I see one of them if I move behind Alphonse, I suppose? If you move up a bit, yeah, you could see one. I'll say it's probably minus two because you'll have a bit of cover from something most likely there because it's quite cluttered. Oh. That's a hit, that's good. It shakes him. Alright, that's the last shot on my my bolt caster. How awesome, Sir Henry?
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's quite a good, uh, good idea. I think it's probably fair that they've got cover, so it'll be a minus two shot, but it's definitely worth doing. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> it's a hit. Sadly, it just wings him. Okay, um, can you remove the defense, please? Thank you. Yeah, we can just ask them for the five hour break. I think they'll go for it. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll go wild attack because I'm a little bit worried about becoming pincushion. Yeah, gang up's nasty. So I'll just go and. Hmm. Next time, let's buy grenades. Yeah, uh, this guy is wild attack too, so he's weaker to, so we can hit him better. I think I'll go just multiple actions and just attack twice normally. First one's a miss. That's a hit, isn't it? No, it's a three. Oh, it's a hit. Yeah, he's parries that awful because he's uh, he's wild attacking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I didn't. It's notice. All right. You've got a normal hit and hit with a raise there, so. Okay, so first damage roll. He's a four. Second damage roll. is a 12. Run him through. Come and get me, you satanist scum. Right, I think this was the one that was... Uh... Okay, he will take a shot at you here. This time he's already got his pistol out, so. This one already has his pistol out. Oh, it's useless, these guys. This guy, um, go on. Yeah, they sort of pistols, they're not doing that again. <laughs> Alright, so William Banks. Does he's told and hides. This guy, however, isn't uh, with a pistol. He's going to move to here and uh, take a swing at you. Damn it, I've spent all my bennies. That guy remains shaken. So, Henry. That level coat was the best purchase I ever made. Oh, cracking nice shot. Nice shot. Shoot him straight to the head and he falls down to the ground. All right, I'm gonna drop my rifle and draw my der derringer pistol. Okay, unless you've got quick draw, I'll put you at minus two, though. Yep. All right. 
you can set up a shot too, I think, to get better chances next time. You could, yeah. You spend a turn aiming if you wish. I read it in a comment. Uh, aim is uh, plus two if you don't move. Yeah, also I think it's on your next action you get it. So. Yeah, it's on the next turn. That was new. Darn it. Would you like to penny that? Yeah. Darn it. Would you like to penny that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just one more go, surely. <laughs> Don't listen to me, I'm evil, I'm just trying to spend all your pennies. <laughs> ah, you got it. Finally! And he goes down, well done. Oh, and Carl, you got a joker. Yay! What was that again? Plus two, wasn't it? Yeah, if you plus two to hit and damage, it puts it on automatically for you. Oh, hey, we all got bennies. And everyone gets a benny, yeah? Alright, uh, that aim, I I've been using it so far, and it's never said... Uh uh, wait for next turn. It's just if the character does not move. Uh, yeah, but it's it's an action to do it. So if you did um, shoot in the same round, you'd have a multiple action penalty, which is minus two. So it, it cancel it out. Th there's an edge called marksman, which means if you don't move, you can get a plus two in the same round. Um, okay, so, so it's <laughs> and it, that one is an action. Oh, okay. Then I done that wrong, I suppose. I love that webcomic, it's brilliant. Yep. So it was, it's very nice. It's a good reference. No, oh, I forgot to add the, but add the Joker, but sure. Oh, so it's two more damage. Ah, yeah, it added it for me. All right. All right. So you shake him. Oh, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, whose go is it? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> um, all right. So he. Um, I applied the shake too late, so we get. This guy here throws down his pistol in disgust because he sucks with it, and he's going to run in while attacking. Still misses. I'll give the wild attack. Run in to get a bit of gang up bonus. These guys suck. Okay, so Henry, go for it. I'll give you just minus one actually shoot through the maze to hit that guy because he's so close. Said the minus two.
not that you need it if you're such a deadly marksman. Another one bites the dust. Okay, um, Alphonse will just try to stabby stabby. Just like to Benny that. Um. Hmm. 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 You know what? Sure. Battle slash. Yay! It's super effective. Alphonse used Stabby Stabby. He moves kind of gingerly over the dead bodies to whack the other fuck. Hold on a second, I'm getting it. Oh, okay. So, number two. And Alphonse uses Stabby Stabby again. And the final one falls to the ground, and as he does, the silence is yet again broken <laughs> by the sound this time, not of an explosion, but of a woman's scream. Inside the middle of the, uh, the thing? It's actually coming from back um, towards the house, towards the area where you left Hakim. Oh, you know what, guys? It's a monster! It's a monster! I think we're not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> so I'm going to switch back to the other map. <laughs> that, but I was curious about what they were doing in the middle there. Damn it! Oh well, you can you can stay there if, if you wish. But they're probably going to lose the battle again, aren't they? Okay, you can hear a commotion coming from just round the corner of the estate there where you'd left the sorcerer tied up. Yay, he's uh, changing into an, uh, his final form. Absolutely. Alright, let's run up there and see what's happening then. reshare the other map with you. Um, as you just sort of round the corner here to where you left the evil sorcerer, you see a terrible sight. It appears you see the rope that you tied him up with has been um, cast off and uh, broken and um, the his robes have been discarded um, on the floor and they've been sort of ripped open as well as if something's burst out from within them. And you see that Hakeem the Sorcerer has indeed changed into his final form. Okay. 
And he looks part crocodile, part lion, part elephant. Uh, you can make me a knowledge. Doesn't have to be a cult, but can be a cult role. That is one ugly dog. Um, okay, so Henry, you recognise this um, creature as an incarnation of the Egyptian god Amut, who is the um, soul eater, devourer of souls, part lion, part hippopotamus, and part croc crocodile. Seeing this terrible form is um, slightly uh, unnerving. Okay, very unnerving. Hey, Egyptian god fellow, you owe me a rope. Does owe you a rope? You must have the good, uh, you know, church money to pay for the rope. Alright, so first up, upon seeing the horrible uh, creature, you need to make me a fear roll, which is a spirit roll, at minus two. Oh boy. Sir Henry's fine. It's a fail there, Alphonse. I don't know if you want to uh, Benny that. It'll be a roll uh, of fright table at plus two if you don't. I'll, um, hmm. Yeah, I'll Benny it. I'll try one more time. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Damn. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm scared. There's a um, edge called Common Bond, which allows you to share bannies. Uh, if you've not got Common Bond, though, sadly you can't. Um, in the chat, I've shared a link to the flat fright table because it's particularly scary. This you'll need to add a plus two uh, onto it. No problem. I have another Benny, but I want to save it. Sure. Um, okay. You want to roll low? Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, lucky you guys tonight. Whoa. I'm I'm like super <laughs> super into rage mode. Yeah, basically. You know what? I'm going Super Saiyan. I'm just gonna say it. Super Saiyan? Yeah, my my blonde hair just goes spiky and upwards. So Sir Henry, you're up first. Oh, sorry, yeah. Reshared it. Oh, one thing you can do, I noticed to find the map quickly, is on your character sheet, if you double click your portrait or double click your portrait on the combat tracker, it should open the map that your token's on. Although, if you're on a couple of maps like you are now, it might not work. Uh, let me take you off the other one. To hit on him. Wow, that was a good shot. Shaking my bad guy. Shoot him between the parts of the animals, that's the weak point. 
Um, I think Alphonse will just charge ahead in full rage mode. I get plus two for the fear roll, right? You do, yeah. And this next action. Okay, so... Uh, what if... Uh, okay, so if I do a double attack, the first one I'll have the minus two... Uh, I'll have the plus two, and the second one I won't have the plus two. That's right, yeah, I think it says, yeah, on your next action, so... Your first attack will be at plus two, hit and damage. Okie dokie. Time to put this god to sleep. Battle slash! Safe to say that hit. It's super effective! You guys are on fire tonight. You're kicking off. And I have plus two for damage, right? You do. Pokey poke! Wound. I'm gonna have to so, uh, try and dodge that. She manages, but did get rid of okay. one of his pennies. And the second attack, I have minus two, and I go battle slash. And damage normal. Pokey poke. Damn it. Tough skin this and best. Yeah, those chimeras. Uh, okay, so that's it for me. Thanks. Still hasn't gone insane. Hanging in there. Well, then it's good material to, for joining, I suppose. Yeah, he passed his spirit roll, I think, didn't he? He's, uh, he's hiding uh, behind. I'm going to take him off the tracker, actually. Just getting in the way. Okay, yeah, uh, Carl. He's staying back out of it anyway. Yeah, gonna take two action, reload, and then move and then shoot. Ahead. God damn it. Uh, LV toughness, damn it. Okay, the um, creature turns and um, snaps at you first of all with its uh, big angry maw. Go ahead, I've seen a bigger maw on a coconut. And then he's got two attacks, this fella. He takes a um, go with his claw, because he's got improved frenzy. Oh, also misses, well done. People are notoriously bad fighters. Okay, so again, wild attack, and two actions, and oh, I lost my battle, I lost my battle tackle, and battle slash. Woohoohoo! Yeah, 
You hit it with a mighty shot, but um, it uh, ducks back and takes all the power out of the wound. Dang it. Last Benny there. Guys, I think this god thing is cheating. <laughs> okay, um, second attack. Wait, wait, wait. Battle Slash! And once again, Pokey Poke! Did I roll to hit twice? No, the second one was a damage, it didn't. Um, it's okay, it's a uh, shaken though. Guys, I shook him up. Got him ready for you. His armor takes the bullet. Maybe right. ask Mr. Banks if he knows any Egyptian weakness. Part, uh, part hippo, part crocodile, part lion have. <laughs> I'm gonna take a cold shot to his head. Alright, that's a minus four to hit, good luck. Plus four damage though if you can act. Good tactic against uh, tough things. Well done, it's a hit, so you're plus four damage on this. I've got no bennies. Roll low, roll low. <laughs> Sorry, I just jinxed you. <laughs> Damn it. You could have... Uh, uh, we still have a few bennies we can use. I can't reroll those for damage. Oh, okay. I'm saving mine for the inevitable uh, bite at work. Take off half my body. First bite to miss. Jaws come in. No, it's a critical failure. <laughs> oh, my roll sucked today. It <laughs> it bites its own tongue. I'm, I'm going to not go last this round now. Watch this. Oh, no, I'm last again. <laughs> okay, Alphonse, you're up. Okay. You, sir. I don't approve of you trying to bite me. I know you're failing, but it's still the principle of the matter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, damn. I forgot the plus two for uh, uh, Righteous Fury. All these times. Bummer. Okay, so... Wild Attack. Didn't work. Wild Attack. Plus two for righteous, plus one for righteous fury, plus one for wound. I just want to make sure. I'm read it again. Yeah, plus two. And minus two for double action. Too many windows open, man. Too many windows. I need a feeling. Okay. Battle slash! Yeah, it worked. Uh, 
אוקיי, דמג' Why do I have, I have plus 2 on the damage, I don't know why. Oh, because of wild attack, okay. 15 damage is 4 over his toughness, which is a wound, there's nothing I can do about it. Why doesn't it say it's a wound? It's not targeting him somehow, for some reason on you. Um, it might be because if you're dropping on him, um, I think you have to hit the actual crocodile rather than not just the red space. It might be that, I don't know. It's a bit funny with those two. Okay. Uh, but it, it's cool. Um, I'll just apply it to him. Okay, so that was the first one. You see and... blood, it bleeds. Guys, we can kill it! Okay, second attack. Battle slash! Okay, this one was directly on the crocodile. Um, that's strange. It hates me, it's anti Semitic. Okay, now for the damage. Think. And it's a miss. And that is my turn, and I will go cry in the corner, so it's not letting me target. You can, um, no, uh, there's an edge called No Mercy, which allows you to bend any damage. But uh, yeah, standard, you can't. Sorry. Although that No Mercy edge, I've got it on one of my characters, and man, I burn through bennies with it because it, I, I'm like, no, I've got to, got to wound it, and I just spend all my bennies on it, get carried away. <laughs> More damage. <laughs> All right, multiple action and cold shot in one of the same. Yeah, it Good is luck. a big thing. Sorry, yeah, go ahead, Cole. What's the thing squished next to the creature in the picture? Uh, the blood splash. Think that might be causing the problem. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Right, um... Do I carry on trying The to bullets, they do nothing! Okay, this time, he opens his mouth and breathes a uh, big cone of fire. Uh, you can get with Carl and Alphonse. You both um, need to make an agility roll. A uh, failure to pass this means you'll take 2d10 worth of damage. That would be nasty. So you want to make your agility rolls. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. You both make it pretty easy. So you duck to the side and the flames lick over the head of you. Oh, at least I'm not last. Cold shot to the head again. I'm gonna bend that one. All right.
Uh, I forgot to take away to do a negative six for cold, yeah, negative four for cold shot. Yeah, it still gets you the raise anyway, it's cool. So you've got a raise and plus four damage. This is a potential killer of a shot. Good luck. <laughs> oh, you got plus four damage to that, so it should be an 11, which is a shaken. Yay. We shook him up. That was me jinxing you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just roll low, don't you, whenever I say, right, oh, this is it, you got him. Alright. Uh, you added the 4? Yeah, it'll put it onto a live and which shakes him, so I'll put a shaking on him. We need 15 <laughs> to damage it. Yeah. Unless he's already shaken, um, in which case you just need the 11. Uh, so tricks might be good as well, so if you if you trick him then headshot or something, I don't know. Anyway. Um, He's going to have a go with a, a breathing uh, a bite and claw again. Oh, he hits you. I'm going to soak that. Good luck. And I failed. Okay, I'm down. Uh, not quite, so minus three, I think. Um, oh, he's got his other attack. Sorry, he's going to try and put you down. It's okay. You're kind of in the way. Um, it's another wound. Have you, are you out of bennies? Um, I am indeed. Okay, if you... I'm squished. Oh, you're all right. You're okay. You you succeeded the vigor roll, which I put it on automatically. So um, the injury you're on the injury table, but the injury goes away when it heals. There's no permanent damage. You're not lost your eye. So if you want to roll on that table, <laughs> yeah, you could lose an eye. Okay, here I go. So I have a hideous scar, but it will go away once I get cured. Yeah, exactly. So you've got the ugly hindrance until you uh, heal those wounds. Oh no, but my looks is the only thing that's going for me. <laughs> You're already wearing a mask and glasses. Yes, but it's the mystery. Now, it, now it, it's ugly. Well, the Phantom of the Opera wasn't called ugly. Wait, wait, wait a minute, he was. Why did he wear the mask or the part that was not ugly? Because he was in the Opera. He was emo. He was the original emo. Oh, right. But you can be him! Famous and everything. Has anyone got any uh, adventure cards, by the way, that might help Alphonse? I don't know. I should have kept mine. Damn it. You can, <laughs> you can search my body with 100% success. Now, because I'm incapacitated, I can't do anything, right? Yeah, afraid so. That's fine. I'll be a, bl a human block. Damn it, now no, we have no, no tank anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to run. Alright, two action call shot again. No, I'm not going to waste my last penny on this. Run! <laughs> Go 
Good idea. Okay, Carl. Uh, away. <laughs> It's a hit, yeah. Um, you, you'll need roll a 15 though to wound it, or an 11 to shake it. Close. Damn tough, isn't it? On there, so how many do you want to move? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, he's got that pace of eight actually, which is crazy. He moves deceptively quickly, he can get either of you. I'm just going to roll randomly actually. One to three, he'll go north. He goes south, he's after you, so Henry, I'm after that other eye. <laughs> this is the first one. Oh, that's for the second. Oh, you've got a stack of bennies, though. Probably good in game for you. Hopefully I don't roll crazy. Ooh, three wounds. It's gonna hurt, but you might be able to dodge some of it. Uh, so now. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, basically, uh, you. It was like his claws coming in at you, um, he's heading straight for your head, if this connects he's going to knock your block off, but you uh, duck down to the side and his um, massive paw swings a uh, claws whistle over your head. You avoid all damage, well done. And you'll go back. Now if you shoot from there you'll be shooting against his parry, but if you step back one, which you can do for free, um, you hit against target number four. No, I see it. Shoot him in the legs so he can't chase you. Woohoo! Oh, shaking it. So an 11 on it now will wound it. Oh, it says go next. Damn it. But you can run. He keeps um, only just that time. He keeps shaking off the stuns. Um, uh -huh. Messes with the first one. The second one goes in with a bite. Hits you. Just one wound this time. See if you can dodge out of the way. You do. Go, Sir Henry.
So, uh, a small thing about the, uh, the rules here. Uh, I created that... Uh, I converted that rifle over to my boltcaster. Can I still use it as a rifle? Yeah, sure. I can. So I've been try trying to avoid that because I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'll be kind. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Alright, it still had the uh, old capabilities or regular rifle-ish thing. Sure, yeah, and you'll so have like, gonna... a uh, power-up thing on it too. One action done to draw and one action to fire. Maybe I should do cold shot still. Plus four damage would be nice, but you could just roll high anyway, I guess. So you know you might explode on the damage. Up to you. Uh, we needed what? The, what we need to hit it now? Fifteen. It's a oh to damage for it. Wound, Eleven for uh, shaken. Right, so I should almost I have to do cold shot against it. Well, we have been rolling insanely all day. Yeah, just not on this guy, sadly. It's a shame, actually, I knocked uh, poor Alphonse out. Hit! Yeah. He was asking for it for a long time. Come on, good luck. Nicely done! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Nice. <laughs> I have no babies. Al Alphonse will name his firstborn child after you. I love that rifle. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want to describe that? Your kill of Amut, the uh, avatar of Amut? Alright, in desperation but afraid of what he had experimented on his rifle, he still dared to try to aim it up and shoot off a regular shot with it. And, well, it went very well, it... Well, it went very, very well. <laughs> very good, yeah, cool. And the creature goes down, there's a big pool of blood there now, and it sort of bubbles, and the creature disappears into goo. Well done, everyone. That was uh, badass, that fight at the end there. You can do healing rolls on Alphonse. If anyone's got healing, I don't know if you have. Nobody got healing, no. <laughs> well... He, he will, um, you will recover in time. I'm going to uh, bring it to a close uh, here then, I think, um, with this. <laughs> I'm helping you! <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> well, Alphonse, uh, you're not permanently scarred. <laughs> okay, so with the death of that, you managed to um, question some of the cultists that you've... Um, that you've captured, and also um, Jellico, the man with the cuts on his hand, who you suspected anyway after vigorous interrogation, you managed to get him to confess that he was working with the uh, cult of um, Amut, um, who were um, who have been um, abducting people. He, he doesn't know the extent of um, the reason why they're abducting these Egyptian uh, professors and destroying Egyptian relics and uh, abducting people who know about Egyptian things, but he knows there is some nefarious plot afoot. Um, you have um, thwarted their plans here, though they did manage to blow up the, uh, the obelisk, but you did save Sir Banks, which is the main uh, object of the, the mission, and he becomes a benefactor to you. He um, arranges to give you a monthly uh, stipend, a monthly uh, sum of money, I think he thinks about £100 um, per month for your group which you can spend on stuff, and well done, that's the end of this um, plot point, um, th there's more which we can perhaps come back to, or whatever, if we uh, if we move on, or whatever. So I hope that was fun. 
Yeah. Yay. That was fun. And Alphonse gets, gets the money for the plastic surgery. Yep, well, it goes after you, your wounds heal anyway, so in time, Alphonse, your wounds will heal up. And you won't be quite so ugly. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd go for it with the combat scenes. It was kind of the, the finale of the Rippers uh, thing. The it didn't. It's not quite how it's written. I kind of crunched a few things up. Um, be, just because we're going to have a pause. And, um, yeah, that fine. was awesome. So he yeah. once took a lot of people down before he went down himself. He did. Yes. Yeah. You guys were rolling crazy all session, right up until the end, where it's a crazy to just put him down. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. I saw it coming. I mean, I I tanked too much without being a tank. I knew I was going down. <laughs> so for next time, we buy better armor. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, this uh, the leather armor I got, it's the best thing I ever bought. That, uh, let's one. upgrade it to, upgrade it to, I don't know, full plate armor. That would help. There is chain I'll, in the setting, I think, so much, I know. I'll just be like a walking fortress. Just a walking house on wheels. Some of the creatures in this get so tough that I think you need it. <laughs> as well as some of the rip attacks sort of towards the end, there's some crazy things in it. Yeah, but that plus one has saved me so many times. Just the move from six to seven. Mm. Yeah, it's massive. Well, thanks a lot for running. It, it was a very eventful session. Good. <laughs> and I guess I'll read up on five, fifth edition. I'm thinking Bard this time. Oh, I haven't nice. played a Bard yet. Never played one yet. Ah, you took Ranger already, damn it. I'm not playing Cleric this time. We can have two Rangers. We can have two Rangers, I think Rangers kind of heal a bit, do they? We can have all Rangers and call ourselves the Power Rangers. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not an expert with 5e, I've not played it anywhere near as much as I've played Savage Worlds, so um, it'll be a bit of a learning thing for all of us, but it should be fun. It's a fairly straightforward system, I think. It's just some of the nuances that'll probably be a bit funny. Yeah, and uh, the thing uh, Henry put up, uh, the character designer, it shows that HP can be similar to Savage Worlds. Points or wounds. Oh, right, I yeah, think. Well, I've not looked at that. Okay, well, that's it for me. Have a nice evening, guys, and uh, have a good week. Yeah, here too, people. Happy Halloween, Christmas, and all your heathen holidays. Oh, there's that too. <laughs> cool, see you all in two weeks. Um, just, um, I'm, I do check in on the Discord server every now and again, so if you've got any questions for me, let me know. Sure. Take care, have fun. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing.